It's been a weird, it's been an interesting year to be a brown dude in America, like uh, my brown, you know? Because uh, a movie came out last year that starred a Pakistani person named Kumel Nanjiani. And uh, when this movie came out, my white friends couldn't stop texting me about it. <laughs> like my friend one day sent me a text like, hey, Umar, I heard them talking about the big sick on NPR. It made me think about you. <laughs> I was like, that's fucking racist. <laughs> And I responded, I was like, every time NPR does a story about some dumb white chick who found herself through yoga, I don't text you about it. <laughs> I'm teasing, because the movie's about a Pakistani stand-up comedian whose parents hate that he does comedy and dates white women, so it's very relatable. <laughs> but the movie talked about arranged marriages, and my parents had an arranged marriage. And I didn't know this, but because I'm single and my older brother is single, and we're in our late 20s, there is a network of Pakistani families that visit my parents' homes with their daughters and leave their daughters' pictures and bios for me and my brother. <laughs> and one day, my mom threw a picture at me. She's like, Uma, I found the perfect woman for you. <laughs> and I was like, you're on Tinder too, mom? <laughs> no, she threw this picture at me, and it's just this woman standing next to a tree like this. And she's wearing a headscarf, which is fine, but I said, Mom, does she know I'm an atheist? I drink, I do drugs, I have sex with white women, and I tell strangers about it. <laughs> and my mom had the best response. She was like, oh, yeah, don't tell her that until after you're married. <laughs> I was like, yo, my mom gets it. <laughs> My parents have never dated, but they want to give me dating advice all the time. Like my dad was trying to be cute one day. He's like, you know, Umar, I met your mother only after seeing her picture. I was like, yeah, dad, I do that shit all the time. <laughs> one day we're at dinner and my dad was like, Umar, I have a question for you. You see that bread on the table? I said, yeah. He said, let's say a strange man came and ate some of that bread. Let's say another strange man came and ate some of that bread. Would you still eat that bread? I was like, hell yeah, dad, I'm a fucking freak. I would eat that bread the same time another man was eating that bread. Also, what a weird analogy. We're both sharing this bread right now. Are we gonna have a threesome after dinner? Sorry, Mom, Dad, they're here. 